let's talk about multi-factor authentication. I'm in my default directory at the moment. There are different ways to enable multi-factor authentication. One way to enable multi-factor authentication is per user MFA. So you can come to the all users and then you can see there is an option here. So if I click on there, the page open for multi-factor authentication. There are two type of settings here. One is users, one is service settings. If you come here, MFA status, the all users at the moment are disabled. These are the dis users which are available there in the AD. So for instance, if I select test tag, at the moment you can see it's giving me the option to enable it. So I'll enable it. So telling me about the deployment guide and the other things. Enable authentication. Yes. From here, it is coming up enable at the moment here. Yes. So if I go and check let's log in into the AAD. This is the user I enable. See, it's telling me more information required. Your organization need more information to keep your account secure. If I do it next and the password. Now, keep your account secure and it is asking me for the Microsoft Authenticator app, getting app, or otherwise I want to set up a different method. See, I can press next, or otherwise I can go there. So now I need to choose that I want to do the Authenticator app or by a phone. So let me do it with the phone. So I'll select United Kingdom and I'll enter my phone number. Yep, and text me as a code. Next, they will send me the code. I received the code now. Let me enter the code. SMS verified your phone was registered successfully. So now what they will do, default sign in method is phone. Otherwise, they will send me email. Yeah, two methods. The one done. And now I logged in into the total tab with this user ID. Yes. So this is one way. If I sign out, again and try to sign in again then i don't need to set up anything this is the, this is the uh, password sign in now it's asking for the verify your identity so it's not asking me to register again anything again on uh or I enter an email or something it's just give it sending me text message see now when i receive the code six four six two four eight verify and it let me go in yes so now you can see i'm in test tag i'll go back again to the users for user MFA, oh, it's me, okay. So I'm here, yeah. So it is, it was enabled before when I done it. And this is if I do that, enable it, enable that, it is enable until I go there and then uh, do all the registration with my user ID or I mean my phone number or my email, 
and it will turn back to enforce it is changed to enforce now yes okay so you know even if someone get hold of the user password they would still need to enter the code on the mobile device to complete the authentication it makes your account much more secure yeah. so तो अब हमने यहाँ पे देख लिया कि मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन पर यूजर मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन कैसे इनेबल किया जाता है एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट आई कैन डिसेबल बैक अगेन ही आर है सो आई डोंट नीड दैट एनी मोर एंड देन सेम थिंग ही आर आई कैन डायरेक्टली इनफोर्स और आई कैन डायरेक्टली डिसेबल दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे